Hi Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different for you. I'm going to be doing a reading on how the energy of in bulk will be affecting you. Now, in bulk is a Celtic holiday that signifies about halfway point between the winter solstice and the spring solstice, the spring equinox, there we go. And this isn't a religious reading or has no religious connotation to it. I'm just going to see how this time of intense energy, kind of the halfway between point and the time when the earth is awakening from winter or depending on where you are kind of going into slumber how this is going to be affecting you so let's see Sagittarius how this is going to happen also I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe to my channel this is the way that you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up and help this little tiny itsy bitsy channel grow bigger and bigger and bigger which is profoundly amazing I'm so humbled by the community that we have here the family that we have going on is absolutely amazing. So thank you for all your love and support. You guys are absolutely wonderful. And if you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see Sagittarius. How in bulk, how the energy of in bulk will be affecting you. How the energy of in bulk be affecting Sagittarius. How the energy of in bulk affects Sagittarius. How will the energy of in bulk affect Sagittarius? How will the energy of in bulk affect Sagittarius? How will the energy of in bulk affect Sagittarius? How will the energy of in bulk affect Sagittarius? How will the energy of in bulk affect Sagittarius? How will the energy of in bulk affect Sagittarius? How will the energy of in bulk affect Sagittarius? How will the energy of in bulk affect Sagittarius? How will the energy of in bulk affect Sagittarius? How will the energy of in bulk affect Sagittarius? Show me clearly, show me clearly. How the energy of in bulk affects Sagittarius. How the energy of in bulk, okay, affects Sagittarius. You have the devil card that we're starting off with. This can represent a Capricorn. Oh, the two of cups, love. Pisces. Letting go of pains of the past. Embracing the wisdom of the future. Very much so being grounded is very important and that's coming up a lot in a lot of these readings the four of pentacles and then you have the king of pentacles reiterating this capricorn energy also signifying a virgo or a taurus knowing your mind feeling off balance so emotions are going to be running high and you're going to be very sensitive to the yeah to the emotions of others you're going to feel as if you're it's not as if you're being picked on because that kind of degrades the feeling, but it feels as if you're out of balance and you know that there are certain energies that are around you that don't really wish you well. And that's going to be kind of, that's going to be very impactful for you during this time. There's a sense of knowing that you have endless prosperity to you, but feeling as if others don't see it the same way that you do. The count of two here is very important. So the relationships that you have between people is going to be very, very important at this time and very much dictates the way that you see things, you know, how you move forward. Now, what I love about you having here, Sagittarius, this Cancer, this Cancer, this Capricorn card, the devil card here, is that I never noticed before that there's a fire underneath the rocks. So there's a light being given to you from the darkness, from underneath the rocks that is going to be leading you forward. I have been using these cards forever. I never ever saw that till this moment. So until I was doing a reading for another sign, and I forget which one it is, I think it was Taurus, that this is saying here that there is a light coming out of the rocks for you. There's a light coming from the darkness that is going to lead you forward, embracing where it is that you want to be, embracing what it is that you desire. So that is profoundly important here, that you are going after your wisdom, your understanding, you're embracing your majesty with the with the stag horns on top of your on top of the head here. So you're embracing your majesty. Stags represent majesty. And so you are looking at what it is that you want, you're looking at where it is that you want to be, and you're saying, "Okay, I have to break the chains that no longer fit me." It's kind of as if you're having the light come out from this rock. You're having the light come from darkness. And that's what the energy of Imbolc will be giving you light from darkness, prosperity from pain. You're breaking away the chains 
that have held you to the past or held you to what people want you to do instead of what you want to do for your soul and yourself, Sagittarius. And now you are moving forward, embracing your truth, embracing your understanding, embracing where it is that you want to be and saying to everybody else, it really doesn't matter what you think. Now, this isn't running away from your responsibilities and this isn't saying that, you know, I don't want to be an adult anymore and kind of backing away from the whole thing. This is saying here that you are finding that balance between your truth and the world. And because you're finding that balance between your truth and your world, you are fiercely being guarded by the angels and you are going to feel a, a fierce sense of pride in yourself during the time of Imbolc, during this time of, you know, the coming together of the energy for spring to come. This beginning of spring is bringing with it a new insight, a new understanding to you. The six, oh goodness, the six of cups, you're letting go of the past. You're letting go of the pain of the past. You're also embracing the way that you wanted life to be. And it doesn't mean you're going to get it exactly the way that you wanted it. It means that you're looking at things and you're saying, okay, I want to move forward in my prosperity. I want to move forward in my bounty. I want to move forward in my peace. And that is what you are obtaining slowly and steadily, but you're letting go of the nasty words of others, of people saying to you, oh no, you couldn't possibly do that. You know, what are you crazy? You know, be more realistic. People throughout even your childhood that might have said, oh no, you know, you have to look at life and you have to be more serious about things. Now you're saying, I am serious about things. I want life to be the way that I need it. You're also remembering what it is that you desired when you were younger, before people told you, you know, to stop being a daydreamer, to stop, you know, filling your head with fancies. And now you're saying, yeah, I can have that again. Yes, I can. Yes, I can go forward and I can have the life that I want and I can embrace the love that I want because you have here, as you let go of the past, as you break these chains, this is a huge thing that's happening for a lot of you during the inbook is going to be that you feel as if you're set free. Not completely, not as if, oh my gosh, I can do anything because you have battles and you have, you know, people are being deceptive and, and you have fears here. But you are saying, I am moving forward in my truth. I am moving forward in my prosperity. And because of that, you're going to feel as if you are closer to your main goal than maybe even ever before, Sagittarius. You have healing, beautiful love coming your way. Now, some of you might be falling in love. Now, it's either going to be between a Capricorn or somebody who's very down to earth, very connected with this earthly realm, very sensible, or a Pisces here. Because I feel both of those energies very strongly around you. And it could be that both of them, it doesn't have to be that you're falling in love romantically. It can be for you, Sagittarius, that you're falling in love with a person who is lifting you up, who is bringing you to that point in your life that you want to be or helping you get to that point in your life that you want to be. And it could be two people. It could be a Capricorn and it can be a Pisces that's helping you move forward. Also, an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, really helping you to see what it is that you want, but you're embracing this king energy. You're embracing a king energy and you're saying, yes, I am moving forward in healing, beautiful love. Yes, I am setting myself free. Yes, I know love is fragile. I know the way that I'm moving forward in life can be fragile and that things have to be cherished and cared for as I embrace my truth, as I embrace where I want to be in my life, as I embrace the way that I am moving forward. You're doing so with prosperity of so soul and dignity of self. And this is healing, beautiful love guiding you to where it is that you want to be and where it is that you need to be. So know that as much as there is going to be a time of feeling as if the world is kind of, it's not against you, but too much during in bulk, you're also going to feel this love, this healing, this bounty that is centering you, that is guarding your chakra. You're guard, grounding you as you guard your chakras, as you cleanse your chakras, as you know that the energy that is around you has more of an impact on you than you would believe. So you're grounding yourself, you're moving forward, you're embracing what it is that you want, you're looking at where it is that you want to be, and you're saying, yes, yes, I can do this. Yes, I can move forward in my truth, in my prosperity, in my abundance. And you're doing so. But you're guarding your stomach, okay? For some reason, very much my eyes are being drawn to right here, which I don't know which chakra that is, which I know I should. But this is saying here that you're guarding your chakras. Okay, because the energy that is coming in is going to be overwhelming for you at times and it might actually make you feel a bit upset. So some of you might feel queasy to your stomach. 
might feel as if you have a bit of a headache, might feel as if you are looking at things differently, and now you are finding that center and you are moving forward in that prosperity. But rooting yourself during this time, feeling grounded, feeling a part of something bigger than yourself, maybe even a part of nature, it's going to be very beneficial for you. The moon card is you facing your fears. Is you moving forward in courage and in wisdom, facing your fears and knowing that nothing is going to hold you back. Nothing is going to hold you back. There is a sense of luck here beneath you and you're watching that luck and you're saying, will it grow? Will it not grow? There is a sense of wanting so much more from life than what you have right now and putting in the hard work, the time, the effort to get there, to get to where it is that you want to be. You have this King of Pentacles energy around you. A Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. High Capricorn energy here. Definitely very grounded, very centered on the earth, knowing what it is that you want, knowing where it is that you're going. Very sensitive to, to the people around you. You're looking at your prosperity. You're looking at where it is that you want to be. And you're saying, yes, I can. I have the divine right to embrace the prosperity that I want and live in the bounty that I desire. Your clarifying cards. The Ace of Swords, God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, is handing you this gift of knowing your mind. The Two of Pentacles, feeling off balance, needing to center yourself, finding that balance within yourself, knowing that emotions are running high and that there are people out there who wish you ill, especially two people, especially two people who are wishing you ill and you are being victorious. They're walking away. And you're seeing that you know your mind, you know where you stand, you know what you want, and nothing is going to stop you. Absolutely nothing. Now, these two people can be the same two people. Well, not the same two people, but it could very much be the two people here. The Capricorn and the Pisces could be the ones. Or it's somebody who's too emotional and too logical at the same exact time. Not two different people, but one is too emotional, one is too logical. It could be one person who is both too emotional and too logical. And I know that sounds like an odd combination, but it's what I'm seeing here. So knowing that you are embracing your emotions and you're embracing your logic, you're embracing that precise way of looking at things, it's going to help you move forward. It's going to help you get to where it is that you want to be. You're grounded as you break the chains of the past. You have the sense of grounding. This The in bulk is going to bring you a sense of grounding as you break the chains of the past. As you let go of the harsh words of, again, the past, of people who didn't understand, and you say that fear it doesn't, hold, doesn't hold you anymore. It's not having a place in your life anymore. You are moving forward in prosperity as you embrace the healing love that is coming for you that is going to cocoon you and move you forward. There are going to be oppositions that happen. Know your mind. Take this gift of knowing your mind, of knowing the way that you want to move forward because nothing is going to stop you. You have the King of Swords. This represents an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. This is also you knowing your mind, cutting through doubts and fears, taking this gift and saying, you know what? I'm guarding what it is that I want. I'm guarding my mind. I'm looking at things with my thoughts and my memories, but I'm not living in the past. And I'm moving forward in my present fiercely and determined to live the best life and to have that king energy, to have the divine right to move forward in absolute prosperity with no one opposing you. There are going to be people, of course, that oppose you, that make you doubt yourself. But this is confidence and this is a surety of, of mind and of prosperity that is moving you forward. All right, Sagittarius, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. May harmony always be with you. Bye.